Many people know why a car moves and how the pistons and the engine work, but what usually is taken for granted is what happens when the driver pushes on the accelerator and how the air and fuel mixture gets inside the engine. This may sound simple, but is in reality far from being so obvious. The part in old-fashioned cars which has this purpose is called the carburetor. In the carburetor, which we may simplify for now as a tube between the outside air and the engine, the pulverized fuel is mixed with the air. In order to aspirate the fuel from its location, the venturi effect is applied to the tube, that is, by decreasing the cross-sectional area through which the air passes, as described by the equation of continuity, the gas will pass through a narrower point at a higher speed. And therefore, because of Bernoulli's principle, the gas at higher speed will have a lower pressure than the atmospheric one. This part in the carburetor, where this effect occurs, is called venturi. Now, since if the air at the venturi is at a lower pressure than the atmospheric one, it will aspirate fuel from the pulverizer located at that spot, mixing it with the air. Usually, this venturi effect is created by a guillotine valve called slide. The venturi effect is best represented in this diagram, where the inflow of air is represented by the blue lines. At this point, it is clear how the air mixes with the fuel, but how does the driver decide how much air fuel mixture enters the engine? Practically, when he pushes on the accelerator, all that happens is that a valve, called the butterfly valve, is opened at the end of the carburetor, letting a greater amount of air-fuel mixture in the engine, creating more power. Therefore, when this valve is almost closed, and little mixture enters the engine, the slide at the venturi is preferred to be almost closed, in order to create a narrower spot, so that the little air getting to the carburetor will be able to create a venturi effect. And instead, when the butterfly valve is opened, the slide should be opened, since there is no need of a small venturi to create the effect, and a greater quantity of air has to get inside. But how does the slide adjust itself? It does through a membrane situated at its top. As the pressure in the venturi gets lower, so does the pressure above the membrane of the slide, causing it to pull the slide upwards. At this point, only one question remains unanswered. How does the carburetor dose the quantity of fuel at each different aperture of the valve? This is simply due to a needle situated at the slide, which, as the slide opens, uncovers more and more the pulverizer situated at the venturi. Due to a lack of time, many subjects regarding the carburetor, such as how it works at idle, how it works when the engine is cold, uh, jets, and uh, the carburation, couldn't be touched in this podcast. I hope you liked it anyways.